You know, you put a camera body, a couple of lenses, maybe a strobe in your camera bag, it gets pretty heavy, and it can make your shoulder hurt after a full day of shooting. Well, there are some reasons why your shoulder hurts. We decided to find out why by talking to the physical conditioning coach of the Philadelphia Flyers, Pat Croce. Okay, not only am I the physical conditioning coach for the Philadelphia Flyers, but I'm also the administrator director of the Sports Medicine Center here at Haverford Community Hospital. And I got in contact with many of the photographers. It was twofold. One, at various sporting events, whether it be at, on the professional level or at the high school football games, basketball games, or with professional hockey, I'd see a lot of photographers, and they'd come up and they knew I was a physical therapist, so they'd ask, I got this little shoulder ailment or my neck stiff or upper back pain. And it really didn't come to mind to really put a program together until photographers start coming in the clinic for treatment purpose only and they thought it wasn't even related to their their own profession. First I start giving just when I saw a photographer at a sporting event I would give them one or two exercises to help alleviate just that symptom. I wasn't really getting to the cause and then the more and more photographers I saw and there was quite a few I became I, I found the problem the cause. When a photographer holds a camera for long periods of time at eye level with his elbows bent it's that there we come to endurance the fatigue sets in and so if the muscles tense up that means they're out of shape literally whether you're jogging a mile swimming or holding up a camera for a sustained period of time that's endurance and that's over time that's where exercise has to come in whether you strengthen the arms and upper extremities not just five repetitions but maybe 25 repetitions do something that the muscles get used to doing for a long period of time so it's endurance there that we're concentrating on. The program stresses flexibility, keep the joints in the neck and upper back nice and loose, strength, make them strong enough to withstand the strain of carrying a bag, and endurance, period of time, a long period of time, in one position. We wanted to demonstrate some of the exercises photographers can do to help strengthen the muscles they need for everyday photography. Uh, that may have been a mistake. We're trying to stretch the biceps tendon here Lift it up over your head as far as possible. Oh. Try and put your palms flat on the ceiling. Stay on your heels. No, I'm keep your trying. heels on the ground. Get that trunk. That's it. This oh. stretches the entire trunk. Okay. Holding that camera bag all day tightens those muscles, contracts them, makes them shorten. How what we want to do is elongate them. How long do I have to do this for? Ten seconds. Ten seconds. All right. Okay. Nine, ten. Relax. Okay. Easy. Right. Can we use your shoulder bags, Mike? Yeah. yeah. How, how come I got the heaviest one here? Was that planned? More work. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, just hang it down by your side now. Just relax. Okay, I'll put it over here, all right? So we're using the shoulder bag because the photographer has a shoulder bag throughout with him throughout the day so he can do these exercises right. throughout the day. First exercise is for the upper trapezius. Okay. All I want you to do is shrug your shoulders up. Nice and high. Can't hold it up there. Hold it up. Count to three very slowly. One, two, three. And relax nice and easy okay that builds the upper trapezius that's the muscles that stabilize the shoulder when you lift your arms all right okay the second exercise i want you to do so i just want you to slowly bend over like this bend over at the waist okay okay now this exercise is for your latissimus right back here i want you to lift your shoulder bag straight behind you okay like what like, like this? this from here straight back that's it count to three hold it up there count to three now look up Three slow seconds. One, two, three. And let it down easy. Nice and easy. Okay. The next exercise, from that same position, okay. all I want you to do is keep your elbow at your shoulder level all right. and just lift it straight up. Oh, man. All right. All right. I'll try that. I'll try that. Get it up. Get it up. I can feel that right there. Pull those shoulder blades back. It works the shoulder as well as the upper thoracic region, okay. the rhomboids. All right, I'm, let it down now. Did you count the three? Uh, well, mentally, I did. Okay, let it down. All right, all right. Okay. Why don't you try that again? Right. Keeping your elbow up. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. And let it down easy. All right. And stand up straight for the last one. Oh, boy. The last one, all you're going to do, this is probably the hardest. Oh, good. You're just going to lift your arm straight out to the side. And hold that for the And hold it. This is for your deltoid, the shoulder okay. pad. Here we, here we go. That thing just got a lot heavier. One, two, three. And let it down easy. Well, I got the pad crochet treatment all right. And like all exercise plans, I guess the first time is always the worst time.
But photography can be an intensely physical activity. And with Pat Croce's exercises for photographers, you can be better prepared to get the shots without becoming shot yourself.